Pickup Truck Gamer here. Today I'll say no video pickup video. Okay, this is pickup video. My first, I'll say today I looked into a local BM bargains and picked up a figure which cost me £10. I'm going to show you that's the 7.2077 figure for, for a tenner in BM bargains. I said we got the other one I'm going to try and get. And this one's also Johnny Silverhand. And the other one I'm going to try and get is a uh, V. So yeah, I picked this up today for about a tenner from a local BM bargains. The back. It's pretty decent. Not bad for a tenner. And then after today, I went to my local CEX and I picked up uh, a new console to add to my collection. And I've got some games as well to go with. So I'm going to first show you what I got. And that's uh, it's a DS game. And it's uh, Lego Velvet Rings on DS. So in the back, there's the cartridge and the manual. I like how obviously it's got a slot for a Game Boy Advance game, but I will be getting some Game Boy Advance games at some point as well for, to play on DS. So yeah, got you close up of the cartridge. Can you see that? Uh, this one cost me is it three quid for that. Well, so you know I was going to have that. What's next? Another Lego game because I like my Lego games. And this is the uh, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean on the DS. But this cost me uh, six, uh, four quid. Pretty decent title. There's the cartridge and manual. So I'll give you a closer, closer look at the cartridge. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Next one, obviously, another Lego game. And that's uh, Lego Harry Potter Year 1 to 4 on the Nintendo DS. Which is the back. And there's the cartridge and manual. I'll give you a closer look at the cartridge. You can see that. So like, you like also Lego games and you're collecting for DS or already got a DS and obviously you're still collecting games then I recommend you buy these games, they're also cheap. So this one is not a Lego game luckily, luckily enough, and this is uh, Rayman DS. Pretty decent Rayman game. If you like Rayman obviously this is one to pick up for your DS as well, or Playstation or whatever console you got. And there's a disc and cartridge. I'll just quickly show you the cartridge. Next one is a, a Disney game and it's pretty good. Obviously it's on PS2 as well and that's uh, Meet the Robinsons. Got this for a quid. Is the uh, back of the case. And I'll quickly show you the manual and cartridge. And I'll give you a, clo I'll give you a closer, closer look at the cartridge. You can see that. So yeah, that one the, uh, was a pound. The last game that I got on DS, obviously, this is another good game and it's a stealthy game and obviously I got it on the uh, PlayStation 2. And that's Split Cell Chaos Fury on Nintendo DS. Let's show you the back of the case. And there's the uh, manual cartridge. And I'll just give you a closer look at the cartridge. And now I'm going to show you what's in this box. I'm going to start off with, obviously, they gave me a cable to charge it with, then a plug, which is not not an official plug, it's from a Sony Ericsson, but obviously a plug's a plug, and obviously a charger cable for it. And at last I'm going to show you, and at this, when I got it, funnily enough, it's in good condition, it's in good nick, the screen's in good nick, the case is not scratched, and it has a silver Nintendo DS Lite, which cost me 40 quid for the DS. And I'll say at the back, and I'll say like how you can just take that out and you can put your Game Boy Advance games in. That's what I like about these DS, you can play your Game Boy Advance games on. But all the other DS's that come out didn't have that uh, feature. 
I'll just give you a look at it. Yeah, the screen's not scratched at all. It's in good condition. And I'm hoping it's got a bit of power in it so I can show you if it works or not. No, there's uh, no power in it. I'll say I have to charge it. So when I get some more DS games, that I'll do a proper video and show you it switched on and that. So at the minute, battery's flat, so I'll have to charge that later. So yeah, that's uh, the pickup video number five. So hopefully, obviously tomorrow I might be going over to Burnley, so I'll probably end up going in there, see actually picking up a few more DS games. So if I do, I'll say I'll do another pickup video for you all. And then, obviously, I'll be doing some more gameplay videos at some point. And then I'm going to show you the Mega Drive game collection as well. Probably the next few videos, I'll show you those. So yeah, hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.